of the story that Joe Biden and his acolytes in the Democratic Party gave us during 2019 impeachment, 2020 in uh, the election, and every day since has fallen apart. The first thing that Joe Biden said is, the State Department made me do this. This was their policy. I carried it out. We, we debunked that last week with the State Department's own documents. The second thing Joe Biden, and by the way, many witnesses in the impeachment and Senator Ron Johnson's 2020 investigation, they all said, oh, the Europeans wanted him out. To the very contrary, the week after Joe Biden secretly made the threat to Ukrainian press, uh, President Petro Poroshenko, saying, if I, you, you don't fire him, you don't get your billion-dollar loan guarantee, which was opposite of what state told him to do, all right, the week after that, the European Union wrote a report. We made it public tonight. It said that Ukraine had met all the benchmarks, all the benchmarks for a ref its reform agenda on corruption, on fighting organized crime, on human trafficking, and on money laundering, the four big things that the U.S. and the West were supposed to be looking for. They actually gave glowing quotes in the report. They said it was impressive progress. Uh, this is completely opposite. Joe Biden threw Europe and the State Department under the bus to make it look like he didn't fire the prosecutor to benefit his son. The European Union says uh, that's not true, and the State Department's own documents say it's not true. A man who is willing to concoct a story that fi uh, for 51 intelligence agents to tell us the laptop was fake when it wasn't was also willing to take our allies in Europe and take the State Department and give them a false story, which, by the way, they sustained through Donald Trump's impeachment and all the way through the 2020 election. That is the man that is our president. He concocted a series of stories in the documents, which take us four years to get, completely disprove that story. You know, it's amazing.